Welcome back to the Wandering Star Farmhouse. My name's Jeanette, and today we are going to go on a tour of the garden. I've been gone and out of town for over a week now, so I am actually just checking on the garden for the first time. We're going to see what's going on today and show you what's growing. So we did get a lot of rain while I was gone, and things have definitely popped up quite a bit. This first row is my brassicas row. The first couple plants are broccoli, and it does look like there are some broccoli ready to harvest. Here is the broccoli in here, and this is starting to separate out a little bit, so it's definitely time to harvest it. It's not, it's not too far gone at this point, but it's a little bit late to harvest it. Here's another little one in here that is not quite ready yet. And I've got these tomatoes all around that popped up and I've got to pull more of them. They're volunteers from last year. But next we have the cabbages. After the cabbages are Brussels sprouts and they are starting to make their little sprouts in the corners. I feel like I'm having a really good brassicas year, cabbage, broccoli, and things. And I think that part of it is because I didn't plant too early. And then finally I have four purple cabbage. These sunflowers that volunteered from last year. And then back here on the end of this next row are my cucumber vines. Oh! already have some overgrown cucumbers from being on vacation. Here we have the stages of cucumbers. These cucumbers are all great and ready to take inside and turn into pickles. These cucumbers are starting to turn yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and feed those to the chickens. These cucumbers are ready for seed saving. When they get to this point, this is when you can save seeds from them. So I can slice those open and save seeds for next year. Seed saving is one of my big goals in my garden this year for sustainability. And I'll show you some other things I have going on for that as well. So actually right here, I have just a, a small grouping of carrots. I tried to do some fall carrots last year and uh, didn't quite get anywhere with them. So now those carrots are flowering and they are going to create seeds. So I will be collecting carrot seeds when these, uh, when these dry up. On this next row, I have beans planted next to my peppers, but the beans are really taking over the peppers. Behind me, you can see the first sunflowers blooming. We'll go look at those in a minute, but uh, here's some peppers sticking out of the top of this. There's also weeds and tomato plants coming out everywhere. But come on down here to the front. You can see some banana peppers. I like to plant things that are for my kids. I like to plant things for my kids snacking close to the edge of the garden so that they can walk by and find snacks to eat. The little beans are blossoming and starting to grow. So these ones are green beans. And oh, we skipped on this last row, the onions, there's onions here. So everything just has volunteer tomatoes popping up from last year. This was just kind of a forest of tomato plants last year, but here I have onions and these are Spanish um, yellow onions. The next group is some purple onions. They're just kind of small. I don't know what they'll do this year, but I'm letting some of the, I'm cultivating some of the tomato plants to grow up in that row and fill up the space as well. This next row has English peas on it, and we have been harvesting these. I'll drop in some video of us harvesting these. Like this? Yep, so put one hand here and pull pull that way. Yep. Mm. 
they've gotten pretty big while I was gone on vacation and they might be to the point now where we're gonna save seed on them as well. Mm. No. Nope. Those are still sweet. I'm sure there's some that are past, but there's some that are still good and we'll eat them. Oh my God. And here are the beautiful blooming, blossoming sunflowers, the first ones of the season. I like because we've got kind of a mix going on. So there's some of these with the red stripes through them and some of the really yellow, buttery yellow sunflowers. The classic orange yellow sunflower up there. Okay, starting here to grow up over this trellis, I've got a moon and stars watermelon. And it's really fun because even at this, even at this stage you can see the moon and stars on on the leaves. So hopefully we'll get that to grow up over this trellis. And I'm gonna do some other squash along here and back that direction. And then we're getting to the garlic. Looks like we're starting to have the first couple leaves completely brown. So that's basically the point. I'll probably dig up a test garlic this next week. Then I'll go ahead and harvest all this. This is one set of garlic. I have more garlic on the other side. So next I have this beautiful dahlia that is growing. And this row is more cucumbers and melons of different, just kind of an assortment. And we're gonna get some trellising on this row to that grow these things sure up. Underneath the black is actually carrots. I'm trying to get carrots to grow. I'm struggling to get them growing this year, but uh, that's a little bit of shade cloth. I'm trying to get those started under. And then I was hoping that the melons and the vines could help shade the carrots to help them grow as well. This next row has sweet potato vines and you can see they're starting to vine out. I'm gonna get these going up over the trellis here and maybe a couple tomatoes going over the trellis as well. These are volunteer tomatoes. On this side we have, uh, this is our actual cultivated tomato row this year. These first handful are Amish paste tomatoes. And then down on the bottom, you can see the lighter green leaves are actually a purple bush bean. Now I have the tea posts up. We're gonna do the Florida weave this year. I have the first couple rows of the Florida weave going on this set. Um, but being gone for a week with rain, it's time to trellis them a little bit more with that Florida weave. So here's more of the sweet potato vines. And these, these burgundy or purple beans are growing really big because they don't have any, they're not being shaded out at all like those ones like the by the tomatoes. And then over here is another one of my seed saving projects. These are a couple of onions that didn't get harvested last year because there actually was a mulberry tree stuck in the ground here, a volunteer mulberry tree. We actually transplanted that mulberry tree over onto our hedgerow. I made a video about it. I'll put up here for you to look at the link of, of making a hedgerow with transplanted trees from around our property. So apparently I missed some onions that were growing around the roots of that and they're flowering this year and I'm gonna save seeds from that to have onion seed for next year. But then the whole rest of this row is seeded with sweet potatoes. This group starting from here, these were all done earlier and the next group was done later because I was just doing them a little bit at a time um, as I was creating the slips from, uh, from my sweet potato from last year. On this back part of this row, I have some celery and then some more tomatoes. And these ones are champion tomatoes. I have a few other tomatoes I started from seed along this row as well. And then the last row is, I have some sweet corn. The sweet corn didn't come in as well as I would have liked it to, so it's pretty, it's pretty spotty and patchy. And then past it is the garlic, and this garlic definitely looks ready to harvest, so we'll be harvesting garlic this week. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look how big that is. 
So this is my garlic that I save the seeds from every year, or I save, I save the garlic every year and I replant just my biggest heads of garlic. And your garlic can get bigger and bigger as you, as you save just the, um, just the largest heads of garlic. That is it for the main garden tour today. In case you wanted an update on Della and her little chicks, they are growing and doing great and they are integrated in with the other flock. We don't have them separated anymore. <laughs> that turkey is apparently causing problems. We also have another plot where I'm trying to grow some more corn and some more sunflowers and we can check in again on the orchard and the fruit garden on another day. But thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse today and I hope to see you again in the next video.